This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I wanted to quickly go over iOS 17.3 beta 3 for all you guys because I've been getting tons of DMs asking me how this beta is. After the last absolute disaster that Apple sent out uh, beta 2, it was just horrible. It was bricking people's phones randomly. I didn't even download that one. I just stayed away from it completely. Beta 3 has been great. I haven't had any issues uh, with regards to, you know, boot loops or crashing or anything. Here is the build number in case you're curious. This means uh, it's got, it ends with an A. So it's, it's coming out soon to the public. Give it another week or two and you guys will get this. If you're not on the beta train at all, you'll be seeing this pop up soon. It's pretty solid. Uh, there's not really any new features that are groundbreaking. That's why I haven't been doing videos on these guys because I don't want to waste your time. I know there's all those other big YouTubers. They make videos on every single update, but there's nothing new. So why? They just want the ad revenue. I get it. They got to make a buck. Luckily for me, this is not my full-time job, so I don't have to worry about that. There's nothing new in this that you guys are going to care about, at least in this beta. However, 17.3 is going to be a big update for the average user simply because of the stolen device protection, which I recommend everyone turn on uh, once they get uh, the update. You know, that's going to solve almost all of the issues with, you know, people stealing phones from bars and trying to reset Apple IDs. It's, it's just going to make it almost impossible to do that. However, it is going to make things harder if you're like at the Apple store and you're trying to reset your password there. Uh, you might have to wait like an hour and that's kind of not good because that is one of the features. It's like a cooldown feature. It makes you wait an hour to make changes if you're not at home or work or a known location. But regardless, this video is more for the people that are like, hey, I'm on beta one. Should I update to beta three? I'm afraid it's going to brick my phone. It's probably not going to break your phone. I did hear a couple people say that it did, but they could have just been trolling. I haven't seen widespread reports of that. So just make a backup and uh, give it a shot. Now, putting this on your main phone like I do, probably not a good idea for the average general public. I have more phones that I can grab at any time if this did brick something. Also make a backup before you do any updates like this. And if you're not a developer, stay off the developer build because the amount of people I saw crying about their phone getting bricked on a developer build, like it's crazy. If you're a developer and you're on a beta, stuff happens. You have to be ready for that just in case. And obviously, yes, it is Apple's fault for pushing out a bad update, but it's a developer beta build. Like things happen. And that's a risk you have to take when you sign that agreement that says that you understand that this is developer beta could have bugs, blah, blah, blah. People just got too comfortable with there not being bugs. And uh, well, that was a big one last week. There's not a ton to talk about with this one. I just wanted to let you guys know that I haven't had any issues. Everything's pretty smooth. Battery life has been great on par, if not a little better than 17.2.1. If you want to hop on the beta train, go for it. But this is going to be coming out to the public in one to two weeks. If you really want the beta right now, hop on the public beta train, not the developer one, just so that stuff like last week or whenever that was doesn't happen to you. That's it. That's the update. I will let you guys know once 17.4 comes out pretty soon. That one, I don't know if that's going to have any major updates to it, but iOS 18 is actually right around the corner. We're already in January. Apple is heavy into building iOS 18 right now as we speak. Of course, once that drops in the summer, we're going to have tons of videos going over that. So you don't want to miss those. So make sure you keep it locked to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.